Welcome back to part three of Star Trek Online, going from Lieutenant 2 to Lieutenant 3. Though we've already hit Lieutenant 3, we're going to finish this out and uh, finish up this uh, patrols that we were pretty much left on in part two. Uh, this case, we're, we're continuing right where we left off with the space dog. Um, as you can see, there's a lot more enemies here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you this in entirety, just mainly because we got time, so uh, you can really see uh, see it. Once you hit the station and everything, it's probably best to go ahead and, especially for stationary objects like that, where there's no enemies or anything, just stop your engines. Otherwise, you're going to have, it's just easier that way you can put your full be weapons to bear, especially your torpedoes, because it'll make it go by so much quicker. Um, there's about, I think it says about four or five of them. I think there's like three or four. And uh, most of the uh, things that are going to be fighting here uh, at least on this on this case with some cruisers and some corvettes I think we have one battleship uh, near the end but I do not recall it's a pretty good group mainly because of the two tacticals uh, and made damage pretty good and of course I was taking the brunt of most of the damage which uh, of course I could deal with so we didn't have much problem here this is a really cool group it's very standard for Star Trek Online you're gonna go into a lot of these open instances especially early on with other people you probably won't say a word to each other do what you need to do get done with your mission leave and then people will just leave the, the group it's important to remember when you're in an open instance and you're done and you leave the open instance and you're back out to the sector map that it keeps you in the group so if you want to you like these guys and or if you pick up a rep or with them and you start, start talking or whatever and you become friends with them you can continue playing with them if you don't want to you can just hit the uh, the leave group button that's right up at the very top left that you usually see me do and you'll be done with it they won't care and, and most of them will probably do the same so but it's really neat um, I, I you know this is like this is like what pug should be in wow right now uh, it's really really neat these guys do a decent job it's very basic stuff so it's not like it's that hard and uh, it's very very standard for the game especially when it comes to open instances and uh, the game is pretty straightforward, so there's not too much difficulty in, in what you're doing with. And you, you're going to find all kinds of different groups that you're going to come up with, uh, of, uh, varying classes of ships and everything like this. At the start here, there's not much of a difference between everyone. Uh, but as you get into some other groups and, and some other instances, open instances, you will see uh, varying ships. Yeah, there's a couple of battleships here, actually. And uh, so this went pretty quick. Uh, be on the lookout, especially as you continue to do these missions, and especially you'll probably find it more common in the in uh, single combat when you're actually fighting the ships. But be on the lookout for your loot. Loot from ships, uh, especially in groups, is very very important. At least it was in beta. There was some great stuff that I found from that. That's going to help you a lot. Of course, you can still buy stuff from the actual uh, from from your from space dock uh, so make sure that once you th feel comfortable with enough credits that you go ahead and do that because you will want to upgrade your ship's weapons and, and shields in particular but definitely be on the lookout for some good stuff at, at this early phase you're not going to find much except probably some batteries which is good stuff to have if nothing else one you could use them uh, or two you can go ahead and sell them the choice is yours this early uh, d and depending on how comfortable you feel with it you might hang on to it and actually use them instead of selling them so that's pretty much it for that mission and that takes care of that patrol uh, so we go ahead and warp out and we'll head back to the sector map and do the last system that we're going to need to do this one's pretty simple uh, and what missions you're going to have per patrol is going to be fairly random. It's going to kind of fit kind of what we've been doing here, but you're going to find a little fairly random. At the beginning of the game, it's pretty standard. You're going to do the same stuff for these things, but as you do the repeat ones of patrols, you'll find them a little more varied. Uh, so if I do patrols and things in the future, I might show some missions types that you haven't really seen before just to show them off but I may not show them all the time because they will be different and they will be random depending on on on, uh, on you this is an, a simple escort mission this one's really really easy uh, we had quite a few people here uh, and this is really 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 easy it's not too difficult if you know where to go we got a little loss and it does happen 
fairly common that it can get lost. Basically, all you gotta do is make yourself to this freighter. Whoever reaches it first is the one it will follow. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're in a group and a party, and and if someone who got to it first is just sitting there and it ain't moving, you need to let them know that hey, it's following you. Uh, so you should probably start moving. This, the closest uh, mining area is not too far. It's actually right over here, as you can see. Uh, well. You'll be able to see once I get the freighter out of the picture. Uh, all you got to do is take it like almost right on top of it, really, and that'll be pretty much the end of the mission. Very, very simple, very easy mission. I have never encountered in these missions, at least from beta and and from this one here, uh, any issues with anyone spawning to attack. It mentions it, it talks about it, but I've never have it happened. It's obvious whoever was piloting this guy, he was kind of unsure of what it was doing but it's okay that's what these missions are for uh, very very simple right behind this rock here you can kinda see part of the station there and that's pretty much where you want to go any of those stations will do there's actually two more that are very very far on each side of the planet and I think there's another one on the far side you can kinda see it in the difference that big white blob it's the same thing as what you see here as you can see he he put it close to it but he didn't do it right on top of it right he was supposed to turn here and he didn't and one of the other guys went ahead and stopped him and we sat there for like five minutes you know uh, waiting to figure out what the heck was going on I guess they were talking in whispers or something I don't know uh, but we got it done and it worked out okay uh, it was definitely a lot shorter than the one we did in the beta uh, when I did in the beta we took the long route and that took a while because you can't do cruise here at least I don't think so unless you're the actual uh, lead ship because you get too far away from it so anyway we turned around we we got went the right way you know it was a little bitching whatever it wasn't too bad and went ahead and started heading over there to where he was at and we got it done very very simple it's the last one we had to do like I said this is going to be very very standard uh, when you're starting out for your first patrol missions they will be like this and pretty much exactly like this but future patrol missions if you start taking patrols and everything uh, as a repeatable will be random and different so keep that in mind they're not always going to be the same once you go ahead and done with that go ahead and communicate with Kirisulu uh, same way that you talk to the Admiral just hit the little communication badge it'll be flashing for you talk to him he'll also give you another bridge officer if you prefer. At this point I was full, you may not be, uh, so I went ahead and took an extra one. I haven't done much with it yet. I might have it for training or for an extra slot. Usually I do it for an extra slot, but we'll see. Went ahead and spent some skill points, got a little upgrades uh, doing in there. Don't forget to spend your skill points. Make sure you take the time to look over what you're doing. Depending on what, you're, what class you are, whether it's engineer, tactical, or, or uh, science, you're going to have little different options. So make sure you take the time to look over what you're reading. Um, with respects coming in, it won't be a big deal. But go ahead and take a good look at it and, and, and know what you're doing. He's going to give you some other information. And uh, also he might have another, another patrol for you if you want to take it. And that's the repeatable random one. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and, like I said, do anything else you need to. Uh, including you can also don't forget to upgrade your bridge officers I didn't do that much here uh, yet because I'm kind of waiting but you can also see the other bridge officer and and your different options with it look take a look at alkylates which are basically achievements uh, but yeah we'll get into more of this stuff of course later much better resolution much better quality uh, now with my new system so I hope you all enjoy it this is old footage it's not my new system that's all the time I got time for, so please rate, comment, and subscribe.